Michael Davis here from Speaking CPR. The last couple of days, I've introduced you to some ideas from a friend of mine, one of my mentors, a, ho a former Hollywood scriptwriting consultant. He's a business consultant named Michael Haig. Uh, I've been misusing the term, uh, actually, formula uh, or process with these tips I've been giving. Michael has a six-step story formula. I'm going to give you a link below this video when I'm done recording it so that you can get his book highly recommended. I've read a lot of books on storytelling and this is right there at the top. It's called Storytelling Made Easy. I'll put a link below this. The last two days we talked about the first two tips that Michael offers, which is number one, follow the pain. A good story has a painful part of it that is relatable to the audience. Second, transport your audience into the scene so that with, with sensory cues, they feel like they're in that scene with you. The third tip is one that is most often left out by storytellers, and that is show the transformation of your main character. I hear a lot of people give stories about being in, in difficult times, or they talk about how good their life is, but they don't share both. What we need to see is how this character has transformed. You see this even in business uh, presentations or commercials. It can be something as simple as the woman who is struggling to clean her floor. She's got guests coming over. The kids are running around. The dog's walking in with muddy paws, and she's frustrated. And then magically appear, uh, what magically appears is the solution, the cleaning formula that with just one swipe of the mop cleans the floor. She's transformed. She's happier. Her house is clean. Her guests are coming over. Uh, the kids are taking a nap. And the dog is not messing up the floor anymore with his dirty paws. So it, it can be that simple. When I mentioned a story yesterday about my experience driving an Indianapolis-style race car, the point of that story is not go out and drive a race car. The point of the story is the lesson that I learned. Before that, I'd been struggling uh, feeling stuck in a job that I despised. Because of the risk that I took driving this Indianapolis-style race car at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, I walked away from that with insight. If I, if I wanted to live the life I truly want to live, I had to take the risk of crashing. That's what happened when I drove that car, and that's what I had to do in my life. That was a transformational moment. There's another story I often share with my audiences about uh, being in a restaurant with my dad 20 years ago. And while we were standing waiting for a table, a young man came over to him who had been a student of his a quarter of a century earlier. And the young man told my dad what a, an impact he had had on, my, uh, on his life. This, this young man became a doctor eventually because of the inspiration my dad gave him as a teacher in biology class back in 1975. Or when I saw the impact my dad had on this young man, I realized that if I get into speaking, it has to be for the reason of leaving a long-lasting impact. Entertainment's nice. Making people laugh is always fun, and it's rewarding in the short run. But the real value is the long-term benefit people get, the, the, the life-changing messages that we can provide. That was a moment of transformation in that story. Show us where the transformation is. Where were you struggling? Where were you having difficulty? Maybe you were confused at some point in your life. You went through some specific moment where your perspective changed and you're living a new life. You're now transformed. So do that and you'll give the audience a real piece of value that they can take away and you give them hope that they can have that same kind of transformation. Hope this, bit, uh, this has been helpful, and tomorrow we will uh, get with you probably from the airport because I'll be traveling to an event. We'll give you the fourth tip of Michael Haig's that will help you become a much more impactful storyteller. Have a great rest.